The U.S. Navy's decision to retire the X-47B Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator, reportedly costing approximately $800 million, marks a significant chapter in the evolution of naval unmanned aerial systems. The X-47B, developed by Northrop Grumman under the Navy's Unmanned Combat Air System Carrier Demonstration Program, was a tailless, strike fighter-sized unmanned aircraft designed to demonstrate the feasibility of unmanned carrier-based operations. According to Northrop Grumman, the X-47B initiated in 2007 with an initial contract of $635.8 million. The program's total cost escalated to an estimated $813 million by January 2012. By 2015, some sources reported costs reaching nearly $1.5 billion, which reflects significant investment in its development. The X-47B achieved several aviation firsts, including the first carrier-based launches and recoveries by a low-observable unmanned aircraft in 2013, and the first autonomous aerial refueling in April 2015. These demonstrations showcased its potential for long-range strike missions, aligning with the Navy's China-centric strategic orientation, particularly in response to advances in Chinese anti-shipping technologies. The retirement of the X-47B was not a standalone decision, but part of a broader restructuring of the Navy's unmanned carrier-based aircraft strategy. Initially, the X-47B was part of the Unmanned Carrier-Launched Airborne Surveillance and Strike Program, intended to develop a stealthy strike platform capable of penetrating enemy air defenses. However, debates emerged over whether U-Class should prioritize strike with limited surveillance or vice versa, delaying the program and leading to a review in 2015. This review, conducted by the Department of Defense, resulted in the fiscal year 2017 budget submission restructuring the U-Class into the Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System Program, later known as the MQ-25 Stingray. The MQ-25 was designed to conduct automated aerial refueling of carrier-based aircraft, with some intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, shifting away from the strike focus of the X-47B. This change reflected a strategic priority to extend the range and endurance of carrier air wings, particularly in the context of potential conflicts in the Pacific, where long distances necessitate robust refueling capabilities. Several factors also contributed to the retirement of the X-47B. Firstly, the strategic realignment to aerial refueling meant that the X-47B's strike-oriented design no longer aligned with the Navy's immediate needs. Then, budgetary considerations likely played a role. The high cost of the X-47B program, combined with the need to fund the development of the MQ-25, may have prompted the Navy to retire the X-47B to reallocate resources.